This is a battle-scarred Thorn Beta 8 that I bought from eBay for a tenner. As you can see by the eBay pictures, and in the seller's words, it's seen better days. I decided to buy it and use it as spares. Once it arrived, I tried to get the gear tray off to no avail. This was due to a seized screw, so I couldn't get it off. Ultimately, I decided to saw through part of the gear tray to get it off. After all, I was only going to use it as spares, so... For some reason, after removing it, I then decided it wouldn't be used as spares. Because, let's be honest, what on earth am I going to use this for? Right, what I've just had to do is pull my PC from under the desk to plug my microphone in, because the USB ports on my computer have stopped working again. I took the lantern apart and started by removing the corrosion. It took a couple of days, but it was mostly gone. The gear tray was spray painted with radiator paint, and the lantern has been sitting in storage for months now, collecting dust and dirt. I honestly didn't bother to try testing it, as the gear was a state, and I expected it not to light at all, and I didn't really want to risk damaging one of my precious socks lamps. But today, something was bugging me to give it a go. Rather than purchase another gear, I wired it all up, and now here we are. So let's see if this actually works, and if it does, you'll get a full warm-up. No way. I'm at a loss to explain that. And wouldn't you know, this is a true testament to how durable socks lanterns are. They can be put through so much abuse in their lifetime, be vandalised, left abandoned for decades at a time, and still power on without a struggle, apart from that one screw. As for the gear tray that I fouled, I'll probably cover that area with a metal plate once I get that stupid screw out, then paint over it so it's not as noticeable. The exact date code of this lantern isn't known, but the sticker boasted both the Beta 8 and the Junior Amberline tag, meaning it was manufactured during the late 1960s or early 1970s. It also boasted the Thorn logo, meaning it was one of the later made Amberlines. The ballast is a Thorn AME 53182.4 sodium ballast, and you can use 35 watt SOX lamps or 55 watt SOX lamps with it. It's also worth noting that this ballast has a built-in igniter into it, as that silver thing is actually a capacitor. Now, I didn't know this until I read about uh, Mike Barford's Beta 8, because this thing has nothing on it. There is no label, no nothing, date code, anything. It's just a silver cylinder. So, what's going to happen to this lantern in the future? Well, first of all, we're going to need to drill those corroded screws out of the top canopy uh, so that we can put a brand new photocell socket in. It will need a bowl and a new lamp holder support because at the minute it has some crudely tied string to keep the, the socks lamp steady. It's also going to be given another lick of paint. The canopy probably will be as well once I've sanded off the corrosion underneath. And also, one shocking thing, the grub screws weren't even seized. I don't know what the chances of that are. Granted, the eBay seller could have got those out with some work, but I like to think that they were never seized. I like to think that it actually... They held their own up against the elements. Because judging by the state of this one, it hasn't had a bowl in quite a while. Also, fun fact, uh, Thorn used to sell bowls separately from lanterns. So this would pretty much be roughly what it would look like, brand new out of the packet. Obviously without the fouled screw the the corrosion and some of the dirt but i will make a follow-up video once significant significantly more has happened with the restoration project because at the minute it's at a bit of a standstill obviously i hope you all enjoyed and stay tuned as next up is the wrtl vectra 